Welcome to the Gadabout Dad. Today we're off to um, Morocco, Tangier to be precise. It's a it's a journey of firsts for me. I've never flown with Air Portugal. I've never had a connection in Lisbon. I've never been to Tangier, so everything is brand brand new. Today has started with a car journey. Then we're going to have to jump a train. Then we're jumping a plane. We're flying Manchester to Lisbon, and then Lisbon on to Tangier. This holiday was on the cheap, which is why I've only got one backpack. That is my baggage allowance for the whole journey. I say it's on the cheap. They made me an offer to upgrade my flight. Um, I had to put a bid in. I did put the lowest bid possible, assuming I probably wouldn't get it, but I did get it. So, we're hey, I'm flying executive class. So my cheap holidays ended up a little bit more expensive because they did accept my lowest bid to upgrade to executive class. So I'll show you what executive class is like. The TAP app is not very good. Um, currently telling me that my flight from Manchester to Lisbon has already landed and it's not happening until today and it's been telling me this for over a week. So the app's not great. The website's a bit poor as well. Every time you wish to manage your booking online, you need a verification code every single time which sends it to your phone. It, it, it's just not a very user-friendly website. The, as I say, the app isn't brilliant. I'm hoping the airline does much better. Come with us, we'll find out. Currently at the airport, but it's the worst in the UK, so this could be quite an interesting experience. Terminal 1, I went from Terminal 2 last time. Didn't see it, have a look in the link below, see my Egypt vlog. Let's see what TAP is like. Never been with them before. Could be very interesting. Here at Terminal 1, definitely not as nice as Terminal 2. The grind around the edges. Let's see if we can find where Air Portugal fly from. In my rush to get here, I've ended up here way too soon. We're checking in on desks 46 and 47. Um, but there's no one here just yet, so I'm gonna take a seat. Here we are in Terminal 1 Manchester Airport. It's not as nice as Terminal 2, definitely not as nice. We were there a few weeks ago, it was so much nicer. This is a bit dull, a bit dingy, a bit grimy. Security, there was no queue, which is a really good thing, but it was packed into a very small space and it was very, it was very fraught. Um, it could be a much calmer experience. Got a couple of hours for our flight now, so just sitting in here, relaxing, gonna watch some planes take off and then we're gonna board into our executive club seats. So it turns out that here at Manchester Airport, when you book TAP Executive, you are entitled to lounge access. Um, getting in was a bit of a pain because my boarding card is on email and they weren't scanning very well. So unfortunately TAP sent me about 12 emails, but I got there in the end, I got the right one. So here we are in the Aspire Lounge at Manchester Airport. Gets us away from the hustle and bustle of Terminal 1. I am not a fan of Terminal 1, I'll let you know that right now. Terminal 2 is much, much better, but let's see what Aspire Lounge has to offer. I'm currently in the quiet zone. Phew, no longer in the quiet zone. So lounges are new to me, so I've got nothing to compare this to other than what I've seen online. Um, I know online the food selections are much more than what we're getting offered here. Because this is all a little bit meagre. I'm not moaning because it was free. That wasn't free. Teas, coffees, wines, vodka, champagne, ciders. There is an upcharge for some things. Um, you can get cocktails at an upcharge, you can get sparkling wines at an upcharge. That's why I just go a normal wine. As I say, the food, there's not much in the way of food, but just want a little snack before you go. Feel a little home. Decided I need to be an executive in life a lot more because being up here, being in the peace and quiet, even though know, the food's a bit pants, loving it, absolutely loving it. Apparently, we had fast track. Who knew? I didn't, so we didn't fast track in security. You live and learn. Not, I'm not used to being an executive. I'm going to be one of them drunk, abusive, rude passengers you saw on my last flight vlog. I'm not. I'm a good boy. I do love some of the views from the Aspire Lounge though. So being in the lounge got us a little bit of inside information. The gate number's not on the board yet, but being in the lounge, she told us it was gate 22. So insider information, gotta love it. Just on our way to the gate with plenty of time to go. 
And it is, there's our Embraer 190 waiting to take us to Portugal and then on to Morocco. So they called everyone in priority, everyone with children to come forward. And this is how many people have come forward. There is no way all these people are in priority. I know this because there's only two rows of seats booked. Not very well handled, Tappe. Eh? Thank you. Too many people in priority there. They are not all priority. I call bull****. <laughs> boarding, not boarding. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is what priority boarding looks like with town. Plane's tiny. It's supposed to be a three and a three with the middle one taken out. I think it's a two and a two. Hello. Hello. Two and two. Thank you. Captain Daniel Pacheco and the entire crew, welcome on board our flight up express operated by Portugal Airlines. Our flight to Lisbon will take about 2 hours and 30 minutes. Please make sure that your signal is securely fast and your seat back in the bright position. Store your table and open the window blinds. For safety reasons, we will leave the cabin lights for takeoff. We apologize for the delay and we do our best to recover it. Tap on the ground, go to share with Tony. The delay ended up being an hour and five minutes, so I'll, I'll film the takeoff. I don't think there's going to be an awful lot to see, I'll be honest. But we'll give it a go. Oh, there's Concorde in the background. show you there's plenty of leg room there's plenty of leg room that sits behind us the table plenty of room even with the slightly larger gentleman should I say so yeah the seats are nice and roomy they're quite comfortable um, quite comfortable behind us as well to be fair and they've got extra leg room too so I'm still waiting to see exactly what we're going to get for our cash still waiting to be released from our seats the seat belt times Fine, no, are still definitely on. Very standard toilet. There's supposed to be cups there, but there's no cups. All the usual things you'd expect. Spotlessly clean. But no, standard. Very small. Literally, your bog standard toilet. I've never seen that before. An air conditioning vent in the toilet. And it works. Wow. We have our own little curtains just to separate us. How cool is that? Seats are in a 2 2 configuration. You can't film the plane. Can't film? No, you're going to have to film the plane. Okay. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I've just been told that I can't film the plane. I was filming a curtain, so can't film the plane. can film myself apparently. can film anyone I'm with, but I can't film anything else. Boring! Oh, Tap, you're not impressing me so far. This is our meal on Tap here. It actually looks quite nice. I've got myself a wine, but not a sparkling. I've got myself a Coke. Some bread, which is apparently healthier bread than normal. I'm not quite sure what it is. If you know, let me know in the comments below. Meat dish with some ham, mozzarella, Tiny quiche, carrots, yuck, pasta de nata, pastel de nata, apparently a famous dish, and some fruit. Don't think that's too bad for a two hour flight. Refreshing towel, and all the plates. I've got the little tap logo on them. This is the big question do we get a real knife and fork? Real napkin, real cutlery, tap written on. I have to hold my hands up and admit that after my telling off, I thought she was a bit of a snotty mare. But she was lovely then, absolutely lovely, couldn't fault the service at all. 
Pastel de Nata is gorgeous. It's like a little egg custard wrapped in layers and layers of filo pastry. I'd definitely have that again. Apparently 60p in Aldi, so I might stock up. Another glass of wine. Chin chin. There's one toilet for the five of us. There's five of us is first class, yeah. executive class. And that toilet is just for us. She actually told someone off before because she thought they were uh, they come from the, the cheaper section behind that magic curtain. There's one member of crew for the five of us. She's incredibly attentive, but she does tend to hover a little bit, which makes you feel like you, you do need to be asking for uh, something when she comes out. She's actually just trying to look down the corner and see what I record. She doesn't want me recording anyway. Any of the plays, I prefer record me. So I am recording me. I'll show you if I need to. Uh, but yeah, service is really good. Couldn't really complain. She was lovely. I would have preferred hot meal, but we can't have everything. It's not a long flight. So, yeah, alright. So far, so good. Let's see how we get on. I sincerely hope that I don't need it too. I'm assuming this is my imagination, but these windows look a bit bigger than normal to me. I'm sure they're not going with that square. We're just on a final approach, we're about to touch down. Decent enough flight, I'm not sure it's worth the money to be honest. The meal was, was lovely, it was very nice, but it was a cold meal. I managed to get two wines in in the time we've been in the air, um, and a coke. The service has been really, really good, apart from being told to cut the film. One of them rules, I suppose. Um, so yeah, it's been okay. Got a connection at this point, and then I've got another hour's flight. I'm losing all track of time, I don't quite know what time we land in Lisbon, I don't know. In Lisbon ahead of us, I don't think they are in time, so I'm just assuming we're going to make the connection, if we don't. Anyway, we're here at Lisbon Airport. Um, it was dead simple, we got off the bus, the bus was about six minutes long because we filmed the whole journey. Six minutes long, it took us to get us to the airport. They said there'd be people in orange jackets, there wasn't people in orange jackets, but there were people waiting to say, which flight he won, we said Morocco, and then they directed us straight to gate 41A. It was literally around the corner from where we got off, so couldn't really be simpler. We've got about half an hour before we board. It'd be interesting to see the change in class. We flew the executive class coming out, but now I'm just in standard economy, so let's see the difference. It'd be interesting to see if that 170 quid did make a lot of difference to my life. Join me on there. Oh, you stupid cow. This is my friend Daisy. So I'm at Lisbon Airport just waiting to board the plane. It leaves at half eleven, it's now 26 minutes past ten. They reckon it's going to be boarding soon. Let's do this comparison between economy and executive. It'll be interesting to see whether it's worth that £170 difference. I suspect not, but I'm going to find out very soon. This time we're boarding in zones. It didn't happen at Manchester. It was a bit of a scrub. I'm in zone C. It's a little annoying that they can get premium boarding right here, but not in Manchester. Ooh. Ooh. Getting on another bus. Another bus journey to another plane. I feel like I've been travelling for days and it's only been four or five hours. Just can't wait to get to Morocco now. Safety cards the only reading material, but hey, 50 minutes, what can you expect? Okay, it doesn't quite compare to the offerings in um, executive class, but you know. Taps Embraer 190s only have one toilet at the front, one toilet at the back. So the one at the front is for the executives, the one at the back is for everyone else. Unfortunately, more than one person wants to use the toilet. We're in this bit of a queuing system where we're forced to sit down and wait. Never encountered this before. Very odd. I didn't record too much on this flight. It was the exact same plane. It was an Embraer, same layout, the same everything really. The only difference was I wasn't behind that little magic curtain of executiveness. That was the only difference. I did pay slightly extra to have a legroom seat, um, so there's plenty of room. But yeah, the, the flight was okay. The staff on this flight are so surly, they really do not want to be here. Thank God it's only 50 minutes. So, tap. Two flights flown today with you, two flights delayed. Not the best record. Wonder what you'll do on the way home.
we shall see in a week. I'm here at the airport of Tangiers. So far, Tap, you've not done very well. Two out of two flights delayed. So I've given this some thought over the past few days. Would I recommend an upgrade in Tap? Let's break that down bit by bit. Cost the upgrade was this. To upgrade the seats, which you can do, cost this much. To upgrade to go into the lounge, cost this much. And two glasses of wine and a glass of coke in total on TAP Airlines, cost this much. Fast track through security, which wasn't really needed anyway, cost this much. So let's see what that comes out to altogether. Altogether it costs this. And my upgrade costs this. I think you'll agree the meal, which is the only thing I can't factor in, is not worth the difference in the cost. Um, not great value, I've got to say. I, I wouldn't be doing it again. Mm -hmm.